Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am introducing to you a brand new plugin. It's called the Divi Tabs Maker. So with this module, it will allow you to make and customize and completely style Divi Tabs with hundreds of content and design settings. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of all of the settings that are available. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you it live with an actual module. And then here on the blog post, you'll be able to see a list of all the features. So you would add the module to your layout, just like any other plugin. Here you can see that the settings are starting right off with saying add new tab. So there's no tabs by default, so you would add a tab. And here you can see we're jumping right into the child module. So the actual tab, individual tab settings. Here you can see some of the options here. For This is for the tab itself. So think of it as you're building the tab, not the content, but the tab. All right, so here you can show the title. Obviously you can write your title. Here you can also show a subtitle and you could use an image or an icon. Here you can choose to pick an icon. You could actually choose an image, so it's one or the other there. And then, of course, there's design settings for all of these things. So there's actually a ton of features here. So I could change the icon size and color. Here's the placement. Maybe I want it on top. Maybe I want it left aligned or right aligned or whatever. And um, with, with these settings, everything is individual but there's also like main tab settings so like there's the main content settings and tab settings here but then there's design settings so I could make you know each individual tab different or here I could you can see I can make the active tab designed in such a way in different background color than the inactive tabs you know maybe the spacing is taller on the active one or maybe I want to show like a little bit of a um, the little pointy arrow thing, you know, like this here, I guess. So there's just lots of different features. Um, it's hard to cover them all quickly. So you're going to have to kind of explore that on your own. So I, I'll try to do it quickly and not, you know, this is not a full in-depth tutorial. Okay. So back to like the main tab, tab settings, first position. So we could do top, we could do on the left. In fact, let me, let me actually add a couple here. <laughs> all right. So there, um, we could do, like I said, top. If you had them on the top or bottom, maybe you wanted to equalize the tabs. Just click a button and there you go. That's really nice because no matter how many you add then, it will automatically equalize. Watch this. If I add another one, okay. Otherwise, you know, it's just based on however wide, you know, the content is. Okay. Oh, and if they're on the left or right, you can actually change the width, right? So if Sometimes you might want to just show like an icon or, you know, whatever it is, make it small and yeah, you can adjust that percentage. That's really cool. Now you can also auto switch between the tabs, meaning so, you know, every three seconds it's going to switch. In fact, it's actually showing you there in the preview and I could change that number. Um, you could actually hide the tabs. Now I know that might sound confusing, but it becomes like a carousel. <laughs> you could actually use it as a carousel and it would actually switch. Um, and I'll, we actually have navigation controls right here. It brings me to that. So I could say um, previous and next. And I can even enable dots right here and um, or numbers. And again, this could be top, for example. You could, so you could make it like a carousel, essentially. All right, uh, moving on here. Show progress bar. So if you have it automatically switching well then you could show that progress bar you can see it going across right here um, and you can customize how tall that is and the color animate tab content so that's referring to the content itself so um, if i say yes the default one is fade but look at all these options here so you know i could fade in left um, i could slide and you'll see it when it switches I could slide in right You can see that there, okay? F horizontal flip, like that. All right, again, so that's for the content tab content. Now you can even set the default active tab. I guess usually it's the first one, but you could do that. 
deep linking is a really cool feature. So with this enabled, basically I can link to a specific tab like this with the second one. I can right click on the front end, copy the link, and then go to a button or my menu or another page or whatever and, and paste the link and it will link directly to that tab and make it active. So that's really cool. All right, so again, these are like the main tab settings and then we have the main design settings. So here's like the icon settings. I could change the icon size. And again, these affect all of them or I could do, you know, active tab, inactive tab. I could even go into the individual tab and change it. All right, so again, the icon right there, you can see it changing. Well, here's um, the active icon color or background color inactive tab icon color so there's there's settings for everything the placement the icon placement padding margin border radius border styles border color again this is for the icon box shadow and it's the same for image image size um placement sizing spacing borders all this stuff right yeah active and inactive tabs so there's here's the progress bar color you know you could change that um you could change the height of that progress bar oh it's that's, is it updating? Yes, it is. Okay, so then margin padding, active tab title, active tab subtitle, all the font settings, text settings, all the things you normally expect. Here's Here I can make the active tab have a rounded corner. Um, don't forget you can adjust the space. Literally everything is customizable. I hope you're getting that point. Content, and that's another thing. So that's this area here. You could change the, the background, you could change the spacing and adjust the font sizing and all that. But anyway, one of the big things with content, if I would go in here to the actual tab, you could ignore this preview. It gets a little goofy sometimes with showing too, but content itself right here. I'm in an individual tab and I'm looking at the content. Now you could just write some content and it could be very nice and you could add images, whatever. But we also added dynamic content here. So if I click this, I could actually um, go in here and add a layout. I just have a bunch of um, dummy examples in here from other things, but any section row or module that I've created and saved to the Divi library, I can add to the tab content. So instead of just having boring text, I could have columns and, and images and, and blurbs and whatever within the tab content. How cool is that? Um, that's very cool in my opinion. You can add your tabs, again, customize all the things within the tab. You can even design all the things separately in the tab. Like I could, like I could make this I wanted to make this particular tab or icon or something different. I could do that. So I'm excited about this because it's meant to be a tabs maker, like the name implies. Hope that you um, get that feeling and and you know appreciate those settings. We are working on a whole bunch of pre-made layouts, like demos. It's a little bit of a work in progress, but I'm just making a bunch of tabs. And let me just scroll down here. Just making, and these are going to be improved. I'm literally throwing these together. Just all the things that you can do with these tabs, different types of designs and animations and, and possibilities, all right? And um, I'm probably going to have, boy, I don't know, maybe even like 50 till I'm done here. And they will be right here in our documentation under free layouts. All right, so yeah, I'm excited about this. It has so many features and everything works like normal Divi modules. So I don't really have like a ton of documentation videos because of that reason. Everything's works, you know, it works like literally normal settings. So I guess um, let me know if you feel like I need to make like videos about specific things and I'll do that. Um, any kind of like, I usually do written guides along with any videos that I make. So let me know about that. Let me know what features you would love to see in future versions. Um, any feedback that you have, I always appreciate that. You know, anything to make the product better. All right, well, I hope that you enjoy this. Again, check out the demos and be watching, um, I don't know, next couple of weeks for more of those uh, free layouts. I'll try to make an announcement about that. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy everything that you can do with this, and I'd love to see what you create.